It's a little bit difficult to demonstrate the ionizing properties of nuclear radiation, so instead I'm going to use this analogy. So this is representing my poor innocent atom, which might get ionized. So these are the electrons which might get knocked off. This is representing the nucleus. And I have three things to represent the nuclear radiation. I have a football. I have an air zooka, which fires um, air vortices. And I have this little gun that fires these yellow balls. So which of these do you think represents alpha radiation? Which do you re think represents beta radiation? And which do you think represents gamma radiation? Hopefully, you realise that the football, with its larger size, is representing alpha radiation or the helium nucleus. That the gun that fires these, which are the same size as these electrons, would represent beta radiation, as these are just high-speed electrons. And the air zooka, which fires an air impulse, represents gamma radiation, a bit like a wave. So let's see which of these is best at ionizing. So first up, the air zooka. So let's try that and see what happens. So with the air zooka, you can probably see the electrons in my model atom vibrate a little bit, but they're not ionized. So gamma radiation has a poor ionizing power. What about the beta radiation? So let's have a go. So the beta radiation, if you get a direct hit, might cause ionization, but the probability of getting a direct hit is quite small. And so beta radiation has a medium ionizing power. Finally, alpha radiation, represented by my big football, large, most likely to hit, and so most likely to cause ionization. So alpha radiation has a large ionizing power.